Welcome to www.north-carolina.healthsourcecairo.com slash city slash Raleigh. Today's topic, living with migraine headaches. They are the granddaddies of all headaches, migraines. Often completely debilitating and frequently hereditary, these awful headaches cause their sufferers constant pain and problems. Although the medical establishment recognizes several types of headaches across the board, few are as consistently life-altering as migraines. For people with chronic headaches, it can become difficult to hold a job, to interact with a family, and even to do the simplest things to maintain their quality of life. Fortunately, many new medications help people control the pain associated with migraines. Some medications now stop a migraine from becoming full-blown if taken in time, while others help calm the symptoms of an active headache. The best place to start treatment is with your doctor, but drugs are not the only options you have. Initial Migraine Evaluations Migraines result from changes in blood vessel dilation in the brain and the release of specific chemicals from the nerve fibers that surround these vessels. The most common blood vessel that is affected is the temporal artery located directly below the skin of the temple. Secondary symptoms include visual distortions or auras, nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light, sounds, or smells. There are eight recognized sources of types of migraine headaches. Most common is the migraine with aura, accounting for about 20 to 25 percent of sufferers. Tension headaches can also become migraines if the conditions are right. Abdominal Ophthalmic, hemiplegia, or nocturnal migraines also exist, and treatment is specific to each type. A proper evaluation of your symptoms, their frequency and severity, needs to be made before treatment is chosen. Tension migraines. For those who suffer from regular, persistent tension headaches, it's not unusual for them to develop migraines as well. These headaches are much longer in duration and usually lead to the same kinds of secondary symptoms as are found in traditional migraines. Aras, nausea, and hypersensitivity all develop for some people who start out with a routine tension headache. For those whose migraines stem from tension headache, the best long-term solution is usually finding a way to manage stress. Super tight neck muscles lead to constriction of blood vessels in the head and neck, leading to the vascular changes that cause a migraine. Once these headaches achieve a good hold upon their victim, the feeling is no different than the traditional migraine. Chiropractic care can help alleviate any postural distortions that help create neck tension. Any misaligned portions of the neck can be repositioned and the soft tissue around the neck, shoulders, and head worked. Massage therapy is also quite effective in reducing tension in the neck, shoulders, and head. It's therefore a good tool for combating tension headaches. Biofeedback classes and other self-monitor relaxation techniques help people cope with the stress that leads to their tension, reducing the number of headaches and their severity. A final consideration of headaches. Learning how to anticipate the circumstances that lead to migraines and figuring out what might trigger one goes a long way in reducing the frequency. A headache diary can be an invaluable resource in this endeavor. Take a holistic approach in any headache treatment plan. Your odds of success are better when you consider the whole being and not just the symptoms. To find out more information on topics like this, please go to wwwnorth slash city slash Raleigh.